Pretty much everyone who's dealt with a narcissist wants to know, how do you deal with this smear campaign? What can you do about it? And how do you vindicate yourself? In this video, you're going to get five tips on how to deal with the smear campaign like a boss. So stay tuned. If you want to know more about the flying monkeys and their role in the smear campaign, check out the video that I'm going to put linked up here above. And if you want to understand the role of the smear campaign and what happens when people tell the truth in abusive systems, check out my recent podcast episode on that topic. I'm Meredith Miller with Inner Integration, and here are the five tips for dealing with the smear campaign like a boss. Number one, exit the toxic environment. That means going no contact with the narcissist, with the flying monkeys. That means going no contact with all of the mutual contacts that you had with the abusive person. That could be friends, that could be colleagues, that could even be family members. You also need to unsubscribe from their reality. So anytime you start thinking about wondering what they're saying about you, what they're talking about, remind yourself that is not my reality. So you're going to need to practice mental ninja tactics to redirect your mind from indulging in thinking about what they're doing and internalizing all of that distorted reality and distorted perceptions of you and instead focus on what you actually want to grow in your life. Now the awesome thing is that when you are no contact with the narcissist and all their flying monkeys, it's so much easier not to care because you don't even know what they're saying and thinking about you. Of course, if you have children with this person, you're going to have to do a modified form of no contact, which means absolutely nothing personal. It's not a personal relationship at all. You're simply talking about the children and that's it. Number two is no reaction. This means to starve the drama with the narcissist, with their flying monkeys. They want your reaction. They want that emotional fuel. They want your defensiveness because that keeps you looking guilty. That keeps you looking crazy. Remember, you're not trying to convince them of anything. You're not trying to convince the narcissist or the flying monkeys of your truth and who you are. That is a huge waste of time and energy. Keep in mind that smear campaign could be very covert and elegant. It could look a lot like concern. The smear campaign could be everyone talking about the concern they have for you and how they just feel like a victim because you won't have anything to do with them. Don't defend yourself. Don't react. Number three is control only what you can. Opt out of the power struggle with the narcissist, with the flying monkeys. You can't control them, what they think about you or what they say about you. You can only control you, your reaction and your narrative. Use your own platform to shine as you are. Do you be bold and be brave. You're not arguing with the narcissist or their flying monkeys or any of their false accusations. You're simply changing the conversation. Let the public see their mask fall off eventually and their evidence-free conspiracy theories about you. Number four, if people ask, tell the truth. Now the truth is not a smear campaign. A smear campaign is slander. It's lies, false accusations, usually launched when you tell the truth or preemptively before you can tell the truth so they can discredit you and no one will believe what you have to say. Telling the truth to your inner circle, to the people in your life, not the mutual friends. Remember, you've got no contact with them, but telling the truth to your people is the only way to expose the rats and the moles. The rats are other manipulators and the moles are flying monkeys planted in there pretending to be your friends and allies. People who don't believe you, people who defend the narcissist, people who say dumb things like it takes two to tango, those are not your real friends. Those are not your allies. And telling the truth will reveal your false friends. Yes, you're going to lose friends when you speak the truth, but that is the only way to find out who your true friends are. You're not trying to convince anyone. You're simply speaking the truth and observing their reaction. 
Remember, the narcissist uses the smear campaign to try to stop you from speaking your truth, to try to get you to swallow your truth. So don't just sit around swallowing that truth because it will make you sick. You've got to talk to some people in your life about it. And when you do, you're going to find out who your true friends and allies are. Number five, know who you are. This means telling your truth, standing your truth, owning your story. Your story is your internal narrative. When things get confusing because lots of false things are being said about you, you need to own your internal narrative, your story about who you are and what happened. That will help you transmute the self-doubt into self-trust, which is I trust myself. I believe in myself. It will transmute self-diminishing into self-worth. That means I know my worth. Knowing who you are, owning your story and your narrative will help you to recognize and separate the false from the true when you hear it. Because if you have a lot of empathy, you're gonna start to believe what other people are saying about you and think maybe I really am a bad person after all. Maybe I really am all those things they're saying about me after all. So own your truth and your narrative. Let them do what they do, let them say what they say, and you be true to you because you know who you are. So those are the five tips I have for you, the most important things to remember when you're facing a smear campaign. I know how hard it is because you can feel so alone. You can feel like nobody else sees it or gets what's going on. Please take a moment to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can find out when I'm putting out new videos. I hope something in this video helped you. If it did, please leave me a comment below. If there's some insight, something that you gained after going through the smear campaign in your life that you want to share with other people who are going through the same thing, go ahead and leave that comment below. I'm sending you all a big hug.